There are some 13,000 people with autism in Taiwan, which is five times the number 15 years ago. One of the reasons behind the increase is changes in diagnostic methods. However, the lack of census data on autism makes the actual number of cases difficult to grasp. In fact, if I wasn't the mother of an autistic child, I would not know that this disease is autism. On the street, some people simply feel that I do a poor job of parenting my child. Autism, as the name suggests, seems to indicate that children are self-absorbed, but it can be more with children being unable to communicate with the outside world. Autism is a developmental disorder that happens early in life and has a strong link to hereditary, so it can greatly impact parents. Wu Youyou has undertaken long-term study of autism and found that it is very difficult for families to manage, but in fact it is not a new disease at all. As early as 1943, before the astronauts landed on the moon, American physician Leo Kanner identified a group of children with this disability and coined the term autism. They are extreme aloneness from practically the beginning of life and what I call a desire for the preservation of sameness. It's a diagnostic standard indicating that there may be limited interest in others and little change in behavior along with problems in social interaction and communication. All of these are some of the challenges they face. Professor Yang Zhongren, who has taught at the National Taipei University of Education and has long been involved in the study of autism, is the first to author a game which includes early intervention and early treatment in Taiwan. He says that autism is more complicated and difficult to define than a simple mental disorder. This is a good example. He likes to play with these toys and spin. You can see that this bamboo dragonfly spins and he's very happy and he brings it back to me. Because autism is a complicated issue to diagnose, in the span of just 10 years the diagnostic criteria has changed three times. So far the medical and scientific community still cannot find the exact cause. At the heart of autism is difficulty in social interaction. The main cause is genetic inheritance, which may be 90% of the cause. Have a check. Sorry about the toothpicks. 82, 82, 82. In the 1988 film Rain Man, actor Dustin Hoffman vividly portrayed a character who had this disability. And though it is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the wide spectrum that is autism. Early on, many children may have been diagnosed with physical and mental disorders, such as autism with mental retardation or autism with language development disabilities, or those that were not diagnosed with autism at all, as they were simply labeled as learning disabilities. According to U.S. statistics, one out of every 68 people has autism, which may translate into one out of every 20 newborns. When it comes to other diseases such as Down syndrome, the ratio is just one out of 800. At the moment, Taiwan doesn't have good census data on this issue, with the current data indicating some 13,000 people may be suffering from this illness. Of course, Taiwan doesn't have one such child out of every 68, as a more conservative estimate would be one out of every 160. At the diagnosis stage, this should not be a label, as in fact these individuals, when they go out into the community, can actually function well as no one will remember such a label. Taiwan, the number of children and youth diagnosed with autism, as well as physical and mental disabilities, is estimated to be 360,000. Unfortunately, there are only some 200 registered doctors with such training, meaning that it may take parents several weeks to see such a doctor. Parents also may fear such a label for their child and may miss the opportunity for early treatment, which can lead to future problems in the future.